Hello and welcome back. My name is D-Double, but you could just call me Dell. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are here bringing you our week six team builder versus George, aka Septile MC, but it's actually Hayden. Uh, before we get the video started, if you guys can, chuck a like down below and let's jump into it. Starting off this week, we have our Tyranitar, uh, Calm, Sandstream, Assault Vest, 252 HP, 100 special attack, 156 special defense. It's actually a mixed special, uh, or a mixed attacker. Uh, we are Thunderbolt, Power Gem, Flamethrower, and Dragon Tail. Now, this is so that we do not just insta lose to most full Corona sets outside of like a bulky Will O Wisp or something along those lines. And so that we can deal with a choice specs Chiyu or a nasty plot Chiyu. Um, if it's Terra Volcarona, we're Thunderbolt as well because his Terra is uh, fire or water. So we can either power jam it or Thunderbolt it depending on the type that we assume that it'll tear into. Titar acting as our stopgap for his major special attackers. It also helps soft check the Reggie Alecki. Next up this week. We have our Thunderous, Timid, Prankster, Choice Scarf, 84 HP, 252 attack, and 172 speed. Now, this is to base out speed the base 100s as an oh shit button. Uh, if Volcarona gets a Quiver Dance up, we can T-Wave it if it's not a Lumberry set. And then we are Psychic and Thunderbolt and Volt Switch to allow us to pivot around George's team. This offers us uh, great momentum into stuff like our Dawn Fan, our Gudra, and our Iron Valiant in the back uh, later on. Basically, just bringing it as a pivot to try to help break through a couple things. Uh, nothing too crazy out of our Thunderous this week. Next up is the Gudra Hisui. Now, this is kind of a <clears throat> fun week for me. I finally get to bring an offensive Gudra. We are just max HP, max special attack, 4 speed, Choppleberry, modest Gudra. Flamethrower, Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt. This thing can blow up almost anything on the team uh, that George or Hayden want to bring. Um, Flamethrower allowing us to deal with the Amoongus quite well and the uh, Tinkaton. Draco Meteor just as a great neutral click. Flash Cannon allows us once again to kind of deal with uh, checks like Garganacle and then Thunderbolt for you know the potential of the Terra Water Volcarona. Pretty straightforward. Choppleberry allowing us to take any kind of ground, uh, or not ground, fighting hits, such as uh, Body Press from Garganacle. Uh, quite well, eat it and destroy it on the way back. Next up is our Slow King Galler, Bold Regenerator Assault Vest, 244 HP, 220 defense, and 44 speed. That's just crept so that we can outspeed, uh, I believe it is Natch, uh, if it's no speed. Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Psychic, and Acid Spray. So what this Slow King allows us to do is take a Bug Buzz, or at least be in against a Volcarona. Click Acid Spray uh, if it decides to try to start Quiver Dancing up on us. We will run the unfortunate risk of um, it getting out of hand offensively, but it will be very easy for us to revenge. Um with our threats as Gudra and Titar can both take hits at plus one or plus two or plus three even. Um, and the special defense drop uh, will force Volk into a position where it cannot stay in, which is nice. Next up is our Dawn Fan. Impish Sturdy Covert Cloak, 252 HP, 4 attack, 252 defense. Uh, as you can see, uh, high horsepower, rapid spin, ice spinner, stealth rock. Now, we are ice spinner for said Amoongus. Uh... <clears throat> oh, sorry. A little tickle in my throat. Um, high horsepower as Earthquake gets reduced by grassy terrain, which George does have access to this week with his Rillaboom. Rapid spin to remove any kind of hazards that are coming our way. And Stealth Rock is just a basic Stealth Rock. George has lots of rock weaknesses on his team, so the less boots that he brings, the better for us when we put up the Stealth Rocks. Covert Cloak offering us an option against Salt Cure Garganacle. Um, the only Garganacle set we really have to watch out for is some kind of like curse set or an iron defense set. But like I said, our Gudra can revenge those really easily. And then to round out the team, it is our cleaner this week. We have Iron Valiant, Jolly, Quirk Drive, Booster Energy, 188 HP, 156 attack, 4 defense, 4 spit F, and 156 speed. Terra Blast, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak. 
And I know what you're thinking. Dell, why that spread? Well, and what it does is it outspeeds an adamant halucha, which is what I think would come if it was to be choice scarfed. Um, this also outspeeds the vast majority of uh, George's team. Outspeeds Chiyu, outspeeds uh, like a choice scarf Volk, a choice scarf Gyarados, a choice scarf anything outside of Reggie Lecky, which I'm not fast enough to get anyways. So uh, we put all of our uh, investment into HP to allow us to live a couple extra hits here and there. And then Terra Blast, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, and Shadow Sneak, allowing us perfect coverage as Ghost can completely obliterate through George's team, especially as soon as the Tinkaton and the Chiyu go down. This is a wide open game for Iron Valiant to completely do something fun. So, yeah, that's going to be the team for this week. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll catch you in the battle. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. My name is DW, but you could just call me Dell. And today we have something very special. We are supposed to be taking on the one and only Septile MC, coach of the San Francisco Argonauts. However, he's on vacation, a much-deserved vacation, mind you. It's important to take those. So instead, we are blessed with the opportunity to take on the one, the only Hayden. Um, this is a great... I'm super pumped. That's that's all I'm going to say. Um, Hayden was one of the first creators I ever watched on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't checked him out, go check out his um, How to Nickname Pokemon series. Uh, shout out Hoodie Allen. Um, just baller. Hayden has brought a very, very scary team. Um, we're going to lead with our Thundee as there's no... Thunderous check on his side of the field, outside of the Halucha. <clears throat> um, being like faster in a choice scarf. Outside of that, we outspeed everything on the other side of the field. Um, Tinkatuff could, or Tinkaton, could be, um, there's potential for Tinkaton to be like rocks, specially defensive, something along those lines. Um, but we're a scarf variant, so I'm not overly concerned. We can click Volt Switch turn one on anything that he sends out and go directly into our pivot. If it is Amoongus or something along those lines, we go hard into our Hosui and Gudra, and uh, we just hard wall the thing. Uh, if you guys haven't, go back, check out the team builder just before this video. Uh, good luck, have fun to Hayden once again, and it is the Tink as expected. So what we can do here is we can just Volt Switch turn one and go into our Dawn fan. And this will give us a good idea of um, of damage at this point. So we shall see from here kind of what we're working with. And I'm just gonna pull up my damage calc on my other monitor. Volt switch comes out. Uh, it's an okay chunk. It's not anything to write home about. What would I put that at? Would I put that at max HP, Volt Switch? Uh, I'd put it at max HP. I'd potentially put it at max Spadef. I, I'd put it at max Spadef as well. So we're probably looking Spadef variant here. We're going into our Horkoff. Uh, at worst, we get to spin next turn. Stealth Rock goes up. That's fine. I'm not overly concerned. Um, Tink doesn't get anything to hurt me too much. I mean, Gigaton Hammer, obviously gonna do a lot. This week we are high horsepower as um, per the team builder, there is grassy terrain on the other side. Um, so I think in this situation, uh, I could spin, but it's also extremely high value for me to get rocks up considering there are two fire types and the only thing that resists it is um, like the, <laughs> the tank that's in right now. Um, if tank stays in, it's probably Ice Punch. Uh, Ice Punch isn't going to do enough to me, however, um, to really pressure me too, too hard. Um, we are in with our Hork off the Dawn fan. Goes into the Amoongus. That's fine. I'm going to get my rocks up. And this is good because we can just go Hisui and Gudra now for free. Um, and then Hisui and Gudra gets to click uh, Button, which is always fun. So we're going into Hisugu. Just right away. Um... Any move that he wants to click outside of, like, Stomping Tantrum. Um, stomping Tantrum also is only going to do, like, at most to our Gudra. Uh, stomping. Stomp Tant. 
Stomping, Tantrum, at most 32%. And then Rocks, um, it's barely even a chance to 3-co, which just, I don't believe, so. <coughs> we go into Pog Coffee, our Hisui and Guja. It's a pretty obvious play, but um, it's one I'm going to make. Doubles, good play on, on in, uh, Hayden's half here. This is why we wanted our Rocks up, though, as Vault comes out. So... I would be afraid of this. It's not boots. Do we bully this with a Draco? I kind of want to just Draco it. I think I'm going to. I'm going to Draco. Quiver Quiver makes him plus one, but depending on his investment here, this Draco is going to do a ton of damage. And then what we can do is we can go hard into our T-Tar in case it's a Morning Sun variant. And then he's not going to get very much back at all. Um... Yeah, I don't really like the fact that he could be Morning Sun. So our play at this point is T-Tar. Because there's if he's clicking anything, it's Fire Move. Um, he could be Terra Water. But but he should know, like, he, he needs to, to Morning Sun here if he's going to do anything. Because he can't Giga. He just, just Fire Dances. Okay, so that's okay. Holy zero. <laughs> okay. Um, that That is literally as little as could possibly be done to me. Um, this is great. In the back, what could he go into? It's probably the Tink. Flamethrower to him from here. He's plus one spin F, so it's not great. Um, we can just power gem um, pretty safely, and then we can restart this around the world process. As uh, we will see a Terra here, even if it is Terra Blast Water, it's not. It's just not doing enough. It's going to be chip, but it's just not enough. Power gem is going to pick up the KO. Terra Blast is going to do 37 or 35-ish percent would be my guess. It's Giga. Giga Drain kind of sucks a little bit because he crit it. Ah. So that crit takes him out of power gem range now, which does suck. Um. Hmm. So he's Giga Drain, Fiery Dance, Quiver Dance. Uh, in the back. This can still beat the Chiyu, so we're still okay. And this can also take one, and we still outspeed with this. Okay, we're still fine. Um, I am going to Thunderbolt here, uh, as he's now Terra Water. And he had to crit the Giga Drain last time. That's not... Oh my god. <laughs> Alright! Um, for contacts, that never kills. That never kills. The, the crit... 100% uh, matters there. That's super unfortunate. Nothing we can do about it. Um, T-Tar goes down. Okay. Um, man, rocks are up too. That sucks a little bit. Uh, we're going to go into Hemski. We will have to reveal our choice scarf. Uh, I will have to Volt Switch. It is what it is. That super sucks. Okay. Um, nothing we can do. Uh, Volt Switch here, safest option. It's going to pick up the KO. Dang, 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 dang. Back-to-back -back crits is never fun. I don't know if the Giga Drain... Um... He 
he would have got 11 to 14 percent so it didn't matter um the crit on the giga not as important um in this situation i think our safest play is into paul coffee um because it forces him to go to you or into the lucha now if he goes lucha we now have to commit to offensively checking the fish um, because we're Choppel and I'd like to get rid of the Halucha. Ah, uh, man. Just looking. Sloking, sloking, sloking. So it is the tank. Uh, I'm just gonna go back into Horkoff here. It's Fizz Def. It's here for this reason. I don't want to take a play rough. There's no reason to over predict. Uh, we'll spin next turn, barring him switching out here on a double. Shouldn't double. Nope, light screen goes up. That's a little, a little, a little, 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 little bit uh, concerning. Just a little bit. Uh, in the back, Gyarados, Halucha, okay, well, we need to rapid spin here, there's no if, uh, if, and, or buts about it, yeah, Giga not doing anything, we get our spin off, now at plus one speed, Uh, we still don't outspeed a max speed variant, but we've established it is probably not max speed. Um, but we still don't outspeed, eh, it's kind of close. Uh, we probably still don't. Um, I'm gonna spin again on a switch. As opposed to the high horse, uh, I could just high horsepower. If we get plus two, it makes... Because because if he goes Gyarados, right? Sucks. Amoongus sucks. Um, nah, we just high horsepower. Reflect goes up. So both screens go up, which is not ideal. Tink lives. So we're assuming Clay Tink. I think I'm gonna... Ooh. My face cam might have just died, ladies and gentlemen. That sucks if it did. Um, we might have froze the face cam. Yeah, it looks like the face cam uh, gone. So we're just going to cut that for now. Um, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Actually, as soon as Tink is, is gone, it, it just really opens up the Valiant, right? Like, Gigaton again. That's fine. Another crit? Man, Hayden... Yeah, I, I swear, dude. I'm, I, he's got to have scope lens or something on everything. Everything's scope lens. Scope lens Volcarona. Scope lens Stinkaton. Uh, what can you do? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, let's see if our webcam's back. No, we're still frozen. It's actually quite funny. Maybe I'll try to do my best uh, post-com webcam lip syncing. Uh, if you see that right now, I hope it's funny. So screens, light screen went up a couple turns ago. Gyarados is in. Does Gyarados live with screen after a D dance? Because that's that's a big question. Um, even with the screen up. No, it took rocks, so it, it won't live. So what we can do is we can kind of sack here. Oh, I just don't want to let this thing run away, though. We do have T-Wave in a worst-case scenario. Could hard switch. It's really dangerous, though. Ah. Uh, yeah, we might just have to break with the Amoongus at this point. Or break, break with the uh, Valiant at this point. I think that's what this comes down to here. Yeah, I have to go Valiant. I have to 
Because if he D-dances, it, it becomes a big issue. Um, and I need to be able to punish a D-dance Gyarados. Because the odds of this being Lum are very... Oh, he Earthquaked. Okay, cool. We eat. We eat. All right, nice. So this is great. Does Terra Ghost get me anything right now? Not particularly. Um, being a fairy fighting type still gives, like, forces to you to have to click a button. Uh, I think we are just going to... I could Terra... I could call the, the, the switch. I don't need to over-predict right now. Uh, we're gonna... Th he can't kill me. Like, Waterfall... He might kill me with Waterfall. That's kind of the hard part about this. I'm gonna Thunder Punch, but I'm gonna Terra Ghost. We'll get it off. That way it's ready. This... This is a roll with Waterfall, it looks like. Depending on his set. Because he's not plus one, but if he's like a boosting item, like if he's... I don't know what we're going to see. Oh, it's good damage. It's not quite enough. Earthquake again. Is he choice? No, he might He might be Scarf. Okay, uh, here we get to just Terra Blast Ghost, though. It's a really good mid-ground if he does try to preserve it. He has no reason to, though, because rocks are up, so this Gyarados is dead. We are just going to Terra Blast. This will pick up the KO here. Um, and we can still switch in one more time. Oh, I spun. No, we're good. Yeah, rocks are gone. Okay, never mind. Made sure to double check. So we're still, we're in a good position here. Iron Valiant picks up the KO on the Gyarados. Ah, uh, we're still frozen. <laughs> I, I don't even think I can, I'm going to try really quickly in the background here, resetting my camera. Um... I'm not fully convinced it's going to work, though. So, <laughs> if if it's cut out completely, um, this is why. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to end that task, and we're going to try to reopen it. And then, fingers crossed. Sends out Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Now, this is... I'm speed. So, I think this is dead because I'm close combat even even through reflect like how bulky is Chi Yu I refuse to believe that this doesn't die through reflect oh my god it's a rule no it's not not after rocks I'm gonna CC I'm gonna kill the Chi Yu this is great awesome 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 big one big one big one okay Webcam might just be down, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. Um, we're just not going to try. We'll have a funny... I don't know. I'll get something to be the face cam for this week. <laughs> we'll figure it out in post. Lucha comes out. It's going to take rocks. So, how many turns... How many turns does he have left? Check status. There you go. Reflect has two left. Okay, well... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna thunder punch, right? Like, cause cause this is obviously not scarf at that point. Uh, this isn't gonna do a ton. Endure. Okay, I'm not gonna pop a salak or a berry at this point because I'm not. I don't have fairy move. If I had fairy move, that'd been very different. But, we do not have Fairy Move, and Reflect is still up. So, uh, we just Thunder Punch again. And then what we can do is we can Shadow Sneak him after the Endure. And we'll be in a really good position here. So there's the Endure. Is it Citrus? It's an Attack Berry, so it's Lech. Reflect wears off. What he doesn't realize is we're Shadow Sneak. 12 to 14% with Reflect up, but without it, it is 25 to 30%. Sneak is going to pick up a KO here. This should kill. Come on. Come on, Valiant. 
Come on, Valiant. Let's go! Big! Big from the boy! Man, I wish I had face cam! Ah! Okay, Valiant's cooking! This is great! And last is this Amoongus, this stupid Amoongus, that I'm pretty certain are Gudra Walls. Um, I'm, I don't mean this is BM, but I really need the differential. I hope you understand. <laughs> I'm, battle was canceled. Why? Hayden. Oh man, I'm sorry, dude. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I, I hope I didn't do anything, um, that caused that or like, you know, um, I, I, I hope it, it wasn't like bad taste. Uh, thank you again, man, for, for like playing this week. It, it's honestly an honor. Um, you know, I, I watched your content, like you growing up, which is crazy to say, um, you know, between all of the, the, uh, how, how pros nickname their Pokemon and, and, um, and then just the, the Sacramento Sea Kings and everything like that. And watching you play draft league, you're one of the guys that inspired me to get into content creation. And I honestly, I'm really thankful, um, to have been able to play you today. So, uh, GG's to Hayden, GG's to George. Um, that's a big win for us guys. We really needed that. And the bonus points from the big win, um, coming in clutch. So, that's going to be it from me. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Happy Sunday, everybody. Buy my merch description down below.